GCSE Required Practical 4A. This is investigating electrical components and we're going to have a look at the electrical characteristics of a resistor. We need to start by putting together this circuit which includes a variable resistor so that we can change the applied potential difference and measure the current that flows through it and this particular type of variable resistor is called a rheostat. And here's the circuit set up for real, and you can see the rear stats sitting there at the back with the slider moved about halfway along, the resistor in its component holder, and a voltmeter and ammeter connected appropriately with the 6 volt power supply. Once you've got your circuit correctly set up and you've had it checked by your teacher, then you can start taking some measurements. First thing we need to do is adjust the variable resistor, the rear stat, so that you've got the maximum potential difference applied to the Tenor resistor. So we move this across, uh, across to here. Uh, this should give us nearly 6 volts in this particular configuration, so we've got 5.83 volts there. And you can see that we can measure the current. And the idea now is that we slide, we adjust the position on the variable resistor so that we can take readings at approximately every volt, all the way from the maximum reading down to the minimum. So I'll set about doing that right now. So we've got 5.83 volts, 0.6 amps. Be aware that, similarly to other experiments using the resistors, that these resistors get quite hot because they dissipate a lot of power. So just be careful and don't touch the resistor itself whilst the experiment is going on and just allow them to cool down for just a couple of minutes uh, before you do take them out of the component holder. So here are the measurements that I've just taken for the positive potential difference and you can see I can only go between 5.83 and 2.77 volts potential difference. Um, now we need to adjust the circuits to take the negative measurements. To complete this set of measurements we now need to reverse the polarity of the power supply by taking these connections out of the power supply and just reversing them so the positive becomes negative, negative positive. You should then have readings on the voltmeter and the ammeter which are negative, so we've got minus 2.78 as a voltage and we've got minus 0.29 as a current, minus 9.29 amps. And then it's the reverse of the procedure we followed before, where we increase the potential differences applied until we get to the fullest travel on the rear stats of the maximum potential difference applied. And here are the final set of results. Notice that I've added in a result for zero potential difference and zero current because that's what you get. We can now plot this as a line graph with the potential difference on the independent variable on the horizontal axis and current up the side as the dependent variable. Here's the component characteristic curve for the resistor. You can see that the points lie nicely on a straight line but it's very important that you plot the origin as well.